DigiKey and Adafruit present This week, Harding. Harding, which they have a very handsome logo. I gotta say, the nice yellow. Logo. This is very nice yellow. So this yeah. Is, so this company is um, a company that makes connectors, and uh, I saw this come up on the DigiKey slash new page, and they also tweeted about it. I remember you said this to me, and you're like, "What is this new thing called single pair Ethernet?" And I said, "I have no idea. I want to go look into it." And we'll talk about it on INMPI, and we'll teach other engineers about it as well. So that's what this week's INMPI is all about. Single pair Ethernet and the connectors that you need and the cables you need to get started with it. So the uh, NPI itself is this uh, very adorable little connector. And as you can see in the center there, it's got two conductors. And it has it basically does Ethernet up to one gigasim, uh, sorry, gigabit per second. Um, and it also provides power up to 50 watts over just two conductors. Amazing. How's that possible? Well, thanks to single pair Ethernet, which has this cute logo, which can you can see the S, it has the two conductors and like the cables and S. Clever. Very clever. Okay, so the Ethernet that you and I know is this. It's you know a four or eight conductor Ethernet connector. It's on computers. It's on Xboxes. It's on routers. It's on almost everything. IoT devices, uh, industry, and it's it's invented in the 70s, and uh, we've improved on it greatly from 10 base T to 100 base T to now gigabit. Um, we've added power over Ethernet as well. That's a you know somewhat recent invention. So you can now power devices over Ethernet. We have some PoE devices, um, but it still uses kind of an old technique for signaling where there's multiple conductors and I think 10 base T has like one pair for transmit, one pair for receiving. And uh, although gigabit eventually gets to uh, bi-directional transmission, there are going to be a lot of situations where you want to reduce the amount of wiring. So this is what, you know, normally at the top you see 10 base T and then you have uh, one gigabit uh, or one G base T and at the bottom, uh, you can see, um, you know, it is possible to transmit this data on a single twisted pair bidirectionally. And that means instead of having eight wires, you have two wires. And this is important because um, if you're in industry and let's say you're wiring up a factory or you're wiring up a train or a car, you want to minimize the weight, you want to minimize the expense of the wiring. You can do that with these two conductors. Another thing that I thought was interesting you can see on the very left, there's like the simple plug-in conductor. And in the center, there is like a high reliability version. So, you know, for a lot of industrial uses, um, they want to make sure that the conductor, that the conductors don't come loose and they're waterproof. And so there are waterproof Ethernet kind of like plug-over adapters. But single-pair Ethernet was sort of designed from the beginning to be used in high reliability situations. So... Here's a list of some of the applications that uh, Harding recommends, and you can see their beautiful uh, golden yellow coloring here. So, um, you know, power monitoring, switches, transportation, like trains and airplanes, machinery, industry, solar. You know, one thing you'll definitely see that's not here is home and office. So this, you know, you're not gonna be able to replace something that's been around since the 70s for home and office. People, you know, they don't really mind ethernet. Um, and for high speeds and high lengths, eight conductors will do better for you than two conductors. But there are a lot of situations like, you know, let's take the, for example, a train or a plane. It's not physically that large. It's only like a couple hundred feet long, but every ounce counts. And also there's just not that much physical space for so much wiring. Let's say you want to put a television in the back of every uh, airplane seat or train seat. Um, all that wiring becomes very complicated. So single pair Ethernet's goal is to, again, simplify that. I think also it could be a good alternative for you know, CAN bus, which is another two wire protocol, also kind of invented, I think in the 70s or 80s. Um, you know, this uh, single pair Ethernet could go up to one gigabit per second, so it's much, much faster. And again, it does power over those two wires as well. Here's another thing I thought was really cool. So you know how everybody's had the situation where you're plugging an Ethernet cable and that little plastic thing breaks? I mean, everyone's been there, right? And you've already like wired up something and you've like stapled the cable in. And once that little like plastic bit breaks, like it's impossible to fix. 
Um, so what I thought was really neat is they replaced that with a metal tang on these connectors. So uh, they've solved like the one annoying problem I've had with Ethernet, which is that, you know, once that little piece breaks, it can become loose and, and, and the cable can come out. Um, so Harding has both the connectors as well as cables. So you can uh, also pick up from DigiKey these beautiful yellow cables. You see yellow is a theme here. I'll show the cable on the overhead too, maybe. So um, also the con conductor is very small uh, compared to Ethernet. It's a much smaller connector. Um, this is a very durable cable, but with only two conductors, you can imagine um, the cable can be a lot thinner and more flexible than Ethernet. So this is the cable in the handsome yellow color. And uh, this is the uh, part for the uh, pick and placeable uh, connector piece that goes into the PCB. So uh, it comes on tape and reel, uh, but it only has, you know, four mechanical contacts and then two other contacts. And this just snaps in and it's a really, it's a nice snap. It really clicks in. It's extremely strong. And then, you know, oh man, you can remove it uh, by pressing down on the cable assembly. So those are the pieces that you'll need. If you're the kind of person who's building industrial equipment, industrial IoT, or you're uh, making things, um, again, not for home and office, but for machinery, for transportation, for industry, um, maybe even for military, I think single pair Ethernet's something you're gonna see a lot more of. So it's a good time to become familiar with it. Also, they've got a great superhero character called Twister, and, uh, They've got a whole set of these for all the different connectors that Harding makes. Uh, this time they went with purple, not yellow, for the character. And uh, yeah. his head is a single-pair Ethernet connector. So very creative. Available on DigiKey. Um, in the chat, a lot of people are like, hey, I've, I've been hearing about this, and, and now, I, now it's on INMPI, so I'm going to take a look. Take so. a look. And if you go to Harding.com, they have a, a whole information section that I totally... Uh, yeah. you know, Wikipedia to learn all about all the specifications for single pair Ethernet. So there's there's a consortium of con companies. Harding is one of like the original uh, consortium members, but there's quite a few of them. All of them are very well-known connector and an industry manufacturer. So again, you're not gonna see this for home and office, but if you're manufacturing stuff that's automation, industry, single pair Ethernet, it's a good time to get acquainted with it because your next revision of a product, you're probably gonna be including it. Yeah. And uh, they had like a minute, two minute video um, about their technology product and more. So we're going to play that. Take it away. Single pair Ethernet. Single pair Ethernet is a new transmission standard for industrial automation via just one pair of conductors. We provide answers to the most pressing questions and point out our future SPE solutions for IIoT infrastructure. A whole series of new standards accompanies the development of SPE, but which parts of technology do they refer to? First of all, this concerns norm IEC 63171-6, in which the SPE connector face is defined for industrial applications. We also cooperate actively in standardization committees for cabling standards at ISO, IEC and TIA and indeed for transmission standards at IEEE 802.3. Transmission via just one pair of conductors requires new interfaces, cables and other components in devices. The Harting Norm proposal was the first proposal for a standardized SPE interface comprising a complete range of various variants from IP20 to IP67 in M8 and M12 structural shapes. In this way, all versions are based on one standardized connector face and comply with all specifications demanded by the market. Those were the reasons why our proposal for a standardized connector face was accepted by all international norm committees, such as ISO, IEC, TIA, and IEEE. IEC 63171-6 will finally be published this year. This sets the standard. All right, and uh, check it out on DigiKey. Short URL is digikey.com slash short slash Z R V 
T71, or you can just look at the product ID. We'll also have the blog post and more. And that is this week's INMPI. I on MPI.